you're in front of one of the few temporary pavilions to have been preserved. It was restored in 2009 by the architect Paul Réal. After Jamaica gained independence in 1962, the country's social and industrial sectors were booming. The pavilion presented an image that was both modern and traditional. Its theme was tradition as a source of inspiration for the future. Take your time to discover the pavilion. You can also walk towards the canal that surrounds it. The building consists of a modern rectangular white box with large French windows and traditional wooden elements such as the shutters on the top floor. The pavilion is covered by a hipped roof with cedar shingles. The atmosphere was that of a traditional Jamaican inn where people shared news and sold goods. Once inaugurated, the pavilion became hugely popular. Expo visitors came for the rum, the dancing, and the all-around Jamaican flavor. Let's go back now to the Place des Ingénieurs. I'll be waiting for you there on one of the benches. En fait, on peut croire que ce petit pavillon de la Jamaïque This small Jamaican pavilion, inspired by the traditional Caribbean house, might seem insignificant. But in fact, it is an important testimony to the specificity and the political originality of Expo 67 in Montreal, as it was the first post-colonial international and universal exhibition ever. Since Expo 58, many countries had gained independence and were represented here for the first time ever at a World Fair. 